good morning. It's the Wake and Bake. Well, I mean, it's 5 a.m. somewhere. Um, but uh, me and my... Um, me and my Russian uh, sex bot were just walking around in this garden here at this store. And I decided... Um, to purchase something but I'm doing it like the weird way I'm doing it the weirdo way I'm doing it the way that a lot of you have been doing stuff curbside I've never I mean I've done China I did Chinese food shout out to Dynasty um and I did Chinese food um at the beginning of the pandemic mostly because it was right next door to where Tony is a bartender at the Mexican restaurant and if you guys know Tony the bartender, um, he wasn't able to work because his restaurant shut down because of the pandemic. Because, you know, a lot of places cut, just shut down thinking that they were going to get government subsidiary uh, payout or subsidy or whatever. You know, sub, sub, they thought they were going to get money because they took a loss because they shut down because the government told them to. But the Chinese restaurant right next door, they understood the assignment. And that was diversify your portfolio and fit, become creative um, to uh, be creative. But anyways... This, uh, what I'm doing, what I ordered is, uh, I ordered this, it's a Martha Stewart, um, faucet adapter. I mean, it's not something that they have in the store, but it's something that can be at the store if ordered, uh, through their curbside pickup. And so I ordered it. And so now it should be here at my curbside. But I think I actually, I mean, I say accidentally, but I feel like I might have put in the wrong number. I'm at curbside pickup three, and I think I put in six. But we'll see what they do with that. Um, I've only been sitting here. I did, Basically, I had just sent in the app notification that I was ready to pick up my stuff. Um, and I haven't received my stuff yet. But I did think it was interesting that they're like, please be prepared to show your ID. But like, who else would know to come pick this item up? You know? I don't know. Is this girl like a plumber? This chick is beasted up. She's got... Oh, dude. So at the Renaissance Fair I went, I saw this gal's hip pack. I gotta... Dude, I kind of want to go ask her if she got it at the Renaissance Fair. If she didn't, I want to know where she can save me. Hundreds of dollars if she didn't get it. I'm gonna go ask. Hey, I got a fashion question for you. I was looking at your cool hip bag there. Is 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 that uh, from the Renaissance Fair or some shit? Where'd you get that? I work in the music industry. Okay. I got it from a vendor at a show. Okay. Yeah. So what did it cost you? Like fifty bucks. That's all. Okay. Yeah, it's a. Because I was just at I was at Casa de Fruta Renaissance Fair, okay. and they were trying to get my lady for like two fifty, and it was like the same design. Line. It was Ask like. Her look um, look up the fairies pajamas. Okay. Okay. Is that where you got this? Mm-hmm. Is that the company? Yep. Okay. The fairies pajamas. Yep. I'm logging this all in my podcast right oh, now, good. so that I know. But I know I just was like. Dude, I seen you. I seen the side, and it, so it's just you just have. Like, oh, it does have the one in the back too. Okay, yep, okay. No, it was so dope because hers, the one that she was looking at, it's actually thicker 
okay. but it had like a star design, which I, like. But then as soon as I saw yours, I was like, "That's way." It's similar, yeah. I'm it's sure. and it's way that I don't know. That seems less abrasive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like too. Uh, super comfy. Yeah. <laughs> These things what kind of work you do? Cool. So you said music industry. Is this what you're getting all these stakes for? Yeah. So what? I'm working side ops, so we're building a music festival in Modesto right now for Dirty Bird. Um. So yeah. Very what nice Dirty Bird? Thing. Dirty Bird camp out. I don't know about this. Dirty Bird is a record label. Okay. And they have a festival each year. Um. Who? Yeah. Like what names from around here? So Claude Von Stroke. It's a lot of electronic music. Okay. DJ Jazzy Jeff will be there. Really? Yeah. That's my homie. There you go. I didn't even know. And okay. Um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun. So. Okay. Thanks for brightening my moment. They forgot this the first time I came for my pickup order. Oh so shit. Kind of crabby. So uh, yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. That, that you look no. like you were in a work mode for yeah. sure. You know what I mean? Definitely. But that's why I figured that was like an actual utility belt. And then yeah. as I got closer, I seen you got all the. And it's. Comfy. You're from NASA. You're also yeah. you got like the headset. You know what I mean? So Alrighty. good. So good. now so. So, who would I get in touch with if I'm an entertainer that would want to participate in such a festival? In something I would contact Dirty Bird. I'm sure they have contact information okay. on their website. Okay. I don't do the talent buying. Yeah, yeah. So unfortunately, that is not up to me. No, no, for sure. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, you know, make you book me right now. So, Dirty Bird. Yeah. So look it up. It's and cool. now, so they're from here? I don't know. I think they're from. Um, Where are you from? Yeah, I was, uh, you're not from here. No. I, I could tell. You're too cool. Um, uh, so, okay. They're from somewhere in California. So, so your industry work yeah. is nationwide? Yes. Okay. Well, we this, is, this is the home of George Lucas, and I'm Buck Stallion. I'll give you a collector pin. Hold on. <laughs> I feel like I've had this conversation before. That's so funny. No, you know, so the weirdest thing, as I'm walking back to my truck, I had a weird deja vu moment. Oh, interesting. But, uh, but yeah. So I, I, I do like a lounge electronic oh. kind of roasting insult comic That's thing. That's You should hit up 30 Bird. They have a lot okay. of kind of like sideshow stuff like that. that yeah. I think you fit no, in I'm a big really sideshow well. act. I am. Awesome. Yeah, well, so, yeah, no, it's good meeting you. Take care. Be safe. Thanks. Don't talk to anybody else in this town. <laughs> Trust me. How much time did I kill? I was like 10 more minutes went by. My stuff. It says sit and relax. I'm going to yell at this employee. Another employee over here in curbside pickup. Nobody's looking over here though. Hey, is anybody picking up the curbside phone?
you know? Am I being impatient? It's been 10 minutes. I've had a, I had a whole conversation. I'm going to get booked with Dirty Bird. Like, I got a booking out of sitting here. So I'm not, like... that annoyed yet, but like, how long does the normal people have to wait? This guy, he's just flopping his arms around. And that, now he's got another girl out here. They're gonna point and flap their arms. I still don't have my curbside. So there's no there's no products hardly exist anymore. You got to special order everything. Minnesota chicks from Minnesota are just hotter. I want that to be clear. She she was nice, but she could also she also had a a look where she um what, this guy just stole stuff why can't they just tackle people anymore so ridiculous dude Can't they just tackle shoplifters? That was so crazy. Just to watch somebody just run out the front door with something. <sighs> God. So crazy. I, I don't think I've ever been to a big box store and not seen somebody just run out the front door. I feel like I see it every time I'm at one of these stores. What is this clown doing? He's walking around. What's he going to get? Hit by a truck? You're going to put that pallet on there? No, you're not. Oh, boy. What's going on? We'll, we'll just round it up to 15 minutes. Because, I mean, we're at 13 minutes, 45 seconds here. guy he doesn't put his gloves on to pick up the pallet he does everything with his bare hands but he's got these gloves hanging off his hip so I wonder how long curbside people are supposed to expect to wait I've, they've already got my money you know He's gonna try and put the pallet jack in through the side. Nope, that it only goes through the front. Why would you even try that? You're a moron. Billy. 
So this curbside thing is really boring. Confab California LLC just bought a shit ton of plants. They just filled the whole back of their mini truck. I mean, as slow as they loaded it, they had to have paid. The only people that are stealing around here are the ones that run. They need to have somebody like me sitting out in the cut of the parking lot, just watching shit. And then whenever somebody, like a tweaker, comes running out like that, you just fucking hit them with the baton in their fucking legs. I'll go inside. They're not gonna fucking. Am I being impatient? See, this is like one of those times. Well, like, am I am I going against the order of the world by going fifteen minutes is too long? Let's find out. Let's go find out. See, they got one, two, three, four, five employees. No, one more. Oh, wait, here we go. I can do this. I can enter my pickup code. Oh, look at this. I think I got it. Which fucking locker one? Ooh, it opened. Climactic. I guess they couldn't. They couldn't be bothered with bringing it to me. But I guess I was. I was being petty because I wasn't coming and getting it. But I just thought, why do we have a service? What What's the service for? The service. This curbside service ain't shit. Fifteen minutes, and not even a person contacted me. Let's even see if they gave me what I asked for. I mean, this is my box. It said this is my box was in box number one. Oh, it's not even plastic. It's heavy duty metal. Thanks, Martha Stewart. But not thank you to the big box store. Curbside fucking service is shit. Do not claim you have a curbside service if you don't have somebody specially formatted for the curbside service. If you're going to say you have a curb, curbside service, but really you're just multitasking somebody else, you don't have curbside service. You have, you have a possible feature of getting curbside delivery, but it is not a service because a service would mean that you had somebody, somebody just designated for such the job. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's, if it's a service that could be 
done as well as the customer service in the store. But the thing is, is I, I just kept watching people go into the store and nobody was um, bringing my shit out. That's a problem. You said you, you said you're the one that said curbside. I'm not the one. I didn't just create curbside in my head. There's all this signages that say curbside. I don't know. I gotta pull in here and take a shit. I should have just taken a shit at the store. They deserve it. But I know, for a store like them, they're so big box. They're gonna have some stupid ass gasket for toilet paper. They're not even going to have like soft wiping toilet paper. Like toilet paper that takes poop off your butt. Unnecessary. (sighs) Anyways. I hope you guys have a good day. Don't use the curbside service. I also don't recommend using any of these food delivery services. Yeah, sure. You could get lucky and they won't steal one of your nuggets or two of your fucking wontons. But the thing is, is if you're doing in-house delivery, then they actually are putting their name out there. Whenever you're using one of these third-party contractors, then you have somebody that really doesn't give a fuck about the presentation of the food. They don't care. Like, they're not representing the restaurant. They're representing a delivery service that just is... uh, They're just a... They're just shit movers. You know what I'm saying? They don't care. It's kind of like, like you've seen the videos of people in FedEx just throwing shit around. Imagine that, you know, like if any, of, if any of these people at Uber Eats or, or, or Uber Food or fucking whatever it's called, like any of these places, if any of them had any ability to make any money, it's because they're multitasking and they're picking up multiple orders. And so your order is going to get steamy and soggy. Really, dude? This guy's walking around in fucking dunkard clothes. Hmm. I don't like that. Guy walking around in dunkard hat and suspenders. That's out of place. I am not over here by dunkard town. I gotta take a shit. Anyways, um, just, dude, I know that it's a pain in the ass to go out and do things, but just go do things. I just proved why not, oh no, why not doing things is trash. 